Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Lazy Man Cooking. Now, I like cookies, but I don't like putting a lot of effort into cookies. You guys have probably seen some of my wife's videos. Well, I've gotten some comments that said, oh, those look great, but they also look fairly complicated. You need a mixer, there's all kinds of dishes. I don't like dishes, and I like things to be quick and simple. So today we're gonna make a three ingredient recipe. You might possibly need a fourth ingredient, which is just a little bit of flour, if the cookies are just a little bit too runny. So the only three ingredients we're using is almond butter, sugar, in this case we're using coconut sugar, and one egg. You could use any kind of nut butter, just make sure there's no oil in the product. In the best case, you grind it right up in the grocery store and you take it home so it doesn't have any other added ingredients. You could even use peanut butter if you like, but peanuts are not nuts. I don't like peanut butters because they're beans and I don't like beans, but that's another story. If you're using peanut butter, just make sure there's no added oil in it. And not just for the health reasons, it'll also make the cookies too runny, you'll need to add flour. So this recipe is one to one, meaning one cup of the almond butter and one cup of the sugar. I've used a little bit less than one cup of the sugar because it doesn't need to be that sweet to me. And if you want to make more, like two cups, do two cups of the almond butter, two cups of the sugar, and two eggs. If you want to do less, still use the one egg and you might just need to add a little bit of flour if it's too runny for you. Now to prove that this is very fast, I can usually get this all mixed up and ready to go on the tray before the oven is even preheated. I haven't used this oven for this, but we're gonna try it. So the oven's preheating to 350. I'm gonna try and mix in this separated oil. Whisk it all together. Okay, to me, I don't need any flour for that. Looks good to me. Baking tray, nothing on it. Now, I've already washed my hands. You could use a cookie scoop for this, but I'm lazy. The only thing you wanna make sure is that they're all pretty much the same size, so they cook evenly. So I finished preparing the cookies, right on time. <laughs> that wasn't even planned. Perfect, just gonna wash my hands and pop them in. So really all you're looking for is they're not too soft, they're not too hard, they're just holding themselves together. That's really it. Make sure they're all together so you don't have any huge cracks in it, but this is all good to me. I'm putting them in for 11 minutes, but you wanna check on them, you gotta know your oven. I don't know this oven, I haven't baked on this oven, but on my oven at my house, it's about 11 to 13 minutes, depending. You just wanna make sure they're not too hard, obviously, and they're not still too soft. Now, you could jazz these cookies up a little bit. A lot of you guys are really conscious on sugar. You don't have to use that much sugar, but cookies without sugar are not really cookies, in my opinion. This is a treat. This is not something you're doing every day, so if you're going to have a treat, you might as well have some sugar in it. You can go for the healthier sugars, like the coconut sugar, organic. You could add nuts to it, you could add fruit to it, dried fruit, raisins, cranberries, cut up dates, whatever you like. You could add some cinnamon, you could add some nutmeg. Putting a dash of cinnamon and nutmeg in it doesn't add any time to it. This is still a very simple recipe. It's the exact same thing, but if you're adding a lot of these powders like spices, 
It might make it a little bit drier. You might need to put in just a little bit more of the almond butter or the peanut butter or whatever you're using. But that's pretty much it. It's a very simple recipe. Obviously, you can do it before the oven preheats, which makes it pretty convenient. It doesn't take very long. There's not very many dishes. You don't need any fancy equipment, and it doesn't cost very much. Okay guys, the 11 minutes is up. I'm gonna put it in just a few more minutes, three more minutes. Okay, this is done. Turn the oven off. So you see it's just a little bit brown on the edges. That's pretty much perfect. That's what we want. Still a tiny bit soft, but the cookies are not done cooking yet. They've gotta sit there and chill. We're gonna put this tray on the rack just to have it elevated so it can breathe and the cookies don't sweat. If you don't have a cookie rack, elevate it somehow. Maybe put it in the sink where just the tray can breathe. And you wanna let this sit at least 10 minutes before you eat it. All right, these are done. Perfect to me. Nice and soft, not burned on the bottom. I think they're perfect, especially because I didn't use the whole cup of sugar. They're not too sweet. Perfect to me. And that's pretty much it. They should be soft. They should taste just like peanut butter cookies or almond butter cookies, which has always been one of my favorites. Super simple. Definitely make sure to get a copy of our cookbook, Dr. Wallach's Cooking Without the Bad Foods, where all the recipes are gluten-free and oil-free. And I don't think this recipe is in it, but we are going to update it one day, and we'll make sure it's in it in the next edition. You can also check out my other books, including Fake Diseases, and very soon I've got one coming out about blood sugar, everything you need to know about blood sugar. So stay tuned for that. You can see all of my books, including the cookbook, on noticebooks.org. And you can check out my other accounts. Here on YouTube, we've got four accounts. Our health account, my personal account, which goes into all kinds of random things, as well as my art account. And of course, on Instagram, we've got the food account, we've got the health account, my personal account, which is mostly book reviews. And we've got a few other accounts that we'll put on the screen. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Appreciate you. We'll see you next time. And if you didn't know, I have a whole bunch of merchandise that I designed myself. Clothing, prints on canvases and on paper, as well as original artworks on my website, noticeart.com. And you can see more of my art on YouTube, the channel is Notice Art, or Instagram, at The Real Notice.